You know, there's there's several uh, differences that you could find between Western medicine and Chinese medicine and how the doctors approach just the most simple, basic solutions to a health issue, okay? It's just such an extreme that I've noticed in my personal opinion. When I was suffering my stomach problems, I went to a doctor first, a Western doctor. I went to a free clinic in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and talked to a doctor. They said that they usually offer the lowest solution, the best solution, most basic solution uh, for this. And that's when he offered me this sleep drug. And later my mom told me that my grandma takes it. Rohypnol or I don't know what it's called. But that was the most basic suggestion. I think I took it and I think I tried one. But I didn't like how it made me feel. Uh, a drug. The most basic suggestion. Later I went to an acupuncturist. And their most basic solution. After I gave them extra details. Much more than what a doctor asks for. They suggested certain foods to bring into my diet. And some... Uh, not these, uh, some offer herbal remedies, but basic foods manipulate the body. They change how the body acts. The doctor didn't, doesn't delve into diet in any way, but in Chinese medicine they do. They can actually tell you what's moistening, what's warming, what's cooling, uh, drying, expels wind. It, Chinese medicine could tell you all of that. They've, they've studied it in a lot more depth rather than micronutrienting the, the, the uh, food source. They don't, Chinese medicine doesn't look at food as a micronutrient. Doctors will do that. Oh, maybe... Doctors will say, oh, maybe you need more vitamin K. Here are the foods that got the vitamin K. Completely overstepping the holistic uh, uh, effects that the whole food uh, will give you. In Chinese medicine, they, they do a better job in figuring out, or at least it's guesswork, okay? I think both are an art but still taking a, a nice holistic approach. I mean, a doctor couldn't tell you, a doctor couldn't tell you cayenne pepper is going to help your hearts or anything, but they will, they'll be, they'll happy to say that it interacts adversely with a particular drug. A doctor will be happy to say that. They'll point those out that certain herbs and foods will interact and possibly negate a certain drug, but they won't tell you a certain food is going to help with a certain problem. And, and Chinese medicine, I don't even know if Chinese medicine uh, really uh, prescribes drugs. I don't know if they prescribe it in acupuncture. I've never come across it yet. It's something that would be more, much more extreme. I will say it seemed like uh, this one lady prescribed some kind of a bitter and it seemed like it was a bit of an extract because it was in a ball form and a kind of a drug. Very bitter in the taste. Very bitter. But that's the thing. It's the taste that's, that's what uh, really gives the, <clears throat> the, the, the type of medicine. It's like uh, underlying, underlying effects away. Okay, bitter does one thing. Sour does another sweet does another, salty does another. There's those tastes which really give away the effects of the food. You got color of the food which gives away uh, which organs it, it affects. Taste of the food that, that also affects the organs in different ways. Okay, heating the food, cool, cooling the food, cooking the food changes it. 
but it's unfortunate that there's such a difference between the medicines. 